Oh, you've heard about a busman's holiday. Well, today kicks off a bus rider's holiday with no charge through the start of summer. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Greckia has that story. 52-year-old Marilee Albert has a skip in her step because she just found out the bus she's riding today will cost her nothing. It's going to be great. Yes, during April, May, and June, officials say there'll be no fares required on any public bus system in Connecticut, including ADA services for people with disabilities. Making a new plan, Stan, <laughs> taking the bus for free. The head of GBTA, Doug Holcomb, accompanied by state lawmakers who were stepping out and stepping up today, pushing an effort they made possible to get the public back on the bus as COVID winds down and gas prices continue to go up. It's a big deal, really, to help lots of people. The lawmakers saying their goal is simple. To be able to show people, all people in Connecticut, that we're trying to make things a little bit more affordable for them. We want this to be your 50 ways to leave your guzzler tour. <laughs> Bring your kids out. Get on the bus, ride from one end of town to another, make some stops along the way. For Albert, who says she's thrilled by the hundreds of dollars she'll save over the next three months, stop number one will be to put a few bucks away <laughs> during the GBTA bus fare holiday. Everyone's so excited and friendly and happy that the buses are free. Can't beat a free bus ride. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. I love it. 50 ways to leave your guzzler. Holcomb saying that the free fares are a great incentive for immigrants, the reentry population, veterans, and students to take full advantage of this public transit holiday.